So are there alternative gas phase flame retardants? What else can we do for foams, fabrics and films? Things other than halogens? Yes, there are. How can we identify them? That's a better question. Um, it's not as easy as it seems. We've got lots of things that work as gas phase inhibitors, but the gas phase inhibitor has to have the chemistry, meaning that it will be released at the polymer decomposition temperature, and it's got to be compatible with the polymer, and it's got to be less toxic than the halogens. And let's face it, the halogens as endocrine disruptors. They're not things that come out and kill you outright. They're things that cause subtle effects such as um, potential to cause autism, delays in getting pregnant for over 12 months, and attention deficit disorders in kids. These are things that are very difficult to isolate because they are things that affect the population and then you get a, there's a 5% increase in this particular endocrine problem. And that's something that's very difficult to isolate from a population where every member of that population is doing different stuff and has different genetic makeup. So the subtle toxicity of the halogen flame retardants is something it's taken probably 40 years to identify that there are problems, um, unless they do very large scale experiments like they did with the animal feed in Michigan. They don't leach out of the polymer um, hopefully that you don't want them leaching out of the polymer or you lose the flame retardant effect and possibly add to the toxic loading um, and you don't want them to increase the fire toxicity. So that's my wish list. Just looking at different tools for assessing gas phase flame inhibition, this tends to be things like gas phase fuel and air maybe mixed with an inhibitor in a small burner flame like this.